Hey everyone, it's Elaine. I appreciate you coming back by to see what I'm up to today. Well, I'm probably up to a hot mess. We're about to see. I saw a video, of course, on YouTube, and they were individuals that did resin. And, of course, with the resin, the ones that I saw, you know, they put their paint and did a pour and then did resin on top of it. Um, this will not be anything that dramatic, but I have a lot of paint that I know is getting older and I need to do something with it. If you watched my um, collab goals in the beginning of the year, you know that I had commented about some paints that I leave on my desk all the time that I'm trying to get rid of. It's one particular one that comes in a jar that, I don't know, I've not really enjoyed it. I like it when I can squirt paint out of a tube or a bottle. But anyhow, sidetracked, my goal is to get rid of a lot of the paint. But because I am such a hoarder of art supplies, which I know many of you are, and a recycler or upcycler, I just can't throw stuff like that away. And to me, it's a lot of hodgepodge that I don't want to just take it to goodwill either. Uh, I, I'll find something to do with it. So, anyhow, one of the ladies had this product. And I know there's a lot of flow mediums out there and stuff. Um, but this one was called Float Trawl. Float Trawl. Um, it's latex-based. And it's a leveler. So whatever you put with it, it will hopefully level it. Um, so I have been kind of wanting to do another art journal with paint and stuff. Um, a while back I showed you my quote journal that I finally finished. And that was fun to do, but it I got sidetracked on it, so it kind of lost a little bit of its oomph. So anyway... Here's what I want to do today, or start today. I have taken a case and journal, and I was going to try to find it. Hold on a second, I put it behind me. One second, one second, I'm not going far, I promise. Now here I am. And I have taken the ring off of it and this is what it is it's not a very big one it's only a five and a half by eight and a half anyway I unwound it unbound it and you know I have a machine that I can squeeze the wire back but I I did as little stretching to the wire as I had to just to get the papers totally out so what my plan is is I've just taken a drink flat like Gatorade or sodas or whatever that they come in, the cans. And I've lined the bottom of it with wax paper. I'm hoping that I don't have a whole lot of excess drip, because I don't want to be wasteful. But if I do, then I have the wax paper where hopefully after it all dries, that I can, you know, maybe if I have to take an X-Acto knife, I can just cut around it and get it to turn loose. So I have taken... These five colors, which I know are not very attractive, and I have added some of the float troll, <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right, to each of those bottles and have shaken it up. Now, the problem with the bottles is you don't always know how much is in them. You kind of have to judge it by weight. So let's just start with the dark one here. And like I said, I have shaken it. And I, this is probably where the hot mess will begin. And no, I do not like to wear gloves, even though I probably should. All right, that I have to say is pretty smooth. And I know the paint that had been in that bottle was not that smooth. So I'm just going to add this one now to the center of it. Now this bottle, you can see a lot of the flow troll in there. This bottle, oh, there's some lumps, see what I mean? That's what, I guess I didn't shake that one good enough. That is some of what I am trying to avoid and dissolve 
in this hot mess. This one let's just kind of put off to the side here. There's not much in this one. Alright. And let's go on and I will add this yellow. So let's see how this comes out. And yeah, my goal is to do this to add, well, another lump to every single page two-sided in that journal book. So maybe what I should do is just pick up a box and let it flow. Well, I don't know. The paper is kind of sliding. So let's just see how it goes. Okay. It's going a little slow. I'm not so sure. I may need more paint. I can see the lump on the orange is kind of slowing down the middle. But anyhow, what I want to do with this journal is kind of like what I did with the quotes journal. But instead of it being just famous people quotes or whatever, I want to do some of the funny, not necessarily quotes, but sayings and stuff that I see mostly, I guess, on Pinterest. Some of them just crack me up. All right, well, you get the idea. I'm probably going to have to go and add some more paints to this. It's those lumps that are kind of slowing me down. And this is the first page that I've done. So let's see. Let's add a little. Let me shake, shake, shake. Let me add a little bit of blue here in this corner. Ooh, that was a lot, wasn't it? And But seems like a lot is what we need. But like I said, I'm getting rid of paints. I can already feel how much lighter that these bottles are here. Oh, there's a lump right there. Let me see if I can shake some more. I know you don't want to see me sit here and shake, shake, shake. I think what I might do is add a little bit more of that light blue in the middle there. Or this one side. I really would just like to be able to cover this page and then walk away. Here we go. I know some people use that canned air to make things slide, but I got to tell you, I'm afraid to do that unless maybe if I go out on my back patio where y'all see me tea stain paper, maybe if I go back there, I can spray it and make it move better. I just have a really big bad lump right there where that orange is. So, anywho's, I see a few little cells coming up in different places. Alright, actually I kind of like that. I know I have a big old clump of blue over there that is kind of messing with me. Let me drop some more yellow in there maybe. And I'm trying not to get out a paintbrush. Let me go on and see. Well, no, I'm going to keep that flat. Because I feel the paper is really absorbing that paint. And it's kind of wet. I know. Y'all are saying, this woman, what in the world? But I promise you, by the end, I will have... A fun fun journal it's probably going to take me the better part of this year <laughs> and next to do this so I'll have to pop in with you every now and then so you can see it 
and what progress I'm making on it. I have to tell you, in a way, this might be slow because my paint was still probably a little thick. But this is fun. This is a little therapeutic. This definitely teaches you patience. I will have to say that. And I'm not necessarily trying to get every inch of the white paper covered. But yeah, I would like to. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to sit here and play with this page a little bit more. Try to get my paint somewhat more closer to the edge of the paper and cover it up. So anyhow, thanks for coming by. And now you know what I'm going to be up to behind the scenes. I will let this one dry and I will find a saying and I will put it on the back of this video. I'll piece them together when it gets all dry. And I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. And I will see you on the flip side. Bye.